Welcome to day nine here on the 24 days of micro workouts here on the Red Delta Project YouTube channel. As always, check out the micro workouts playlist for all of the micro workouts I've ever created, as well as don't forget to subscribe so you get all of the other future micro workouts I'm gonna come out with, as well as the special little surprise I have for you coming on Christmas day. But today's micro workout is another PPS, push pull squat that's meant to target your chest, your lats, and the muscles in your hips. These are areas that are typically holding people back from their pushing, pulling, and squatting uh, exercises. Now, the 1st of December, I addressed the best exercises that I would ever give you if you came to me and said, I just wanna build muscle and strength as efficiently and effectively as possible. Do that workout, and there's a link right up there. But if you said, I wanna target the muscles in the torso and the hips, this is the one you're going to do, and here are the exercises. The first exercise is commonly referred to as the RTO push-up, rings turned out push-up. It's kind of like almost an introduction to the planche push-up where instead of doing push-ups with your arms kind of wide out and your hands underneath your chest, you're gonna bring your arms in as close as possible on a, either a rings or a suspension setup and you're gonna have a supine hand position at the bottom, so palms facing towards your chin. The lower your hands get towards your hips, the more resistance you're going to have through leverage. And then it's almost scooping up, squeezing the arms in as tight as possible as you get each repetition and you go back to a pronated position at the very top. The second exercise, you're doing the exact same thing for your rows. You're gonna lean back, you're pronated at the top, and then you're gonna supinate all the way up, palms facing up as you row with your hands getting as close to your hips as you can. This is really gonna light up your lats. You're not gonna feel it too much in your biceps and triceps for this one, but that's fine because we're transferring a lot of the resistance right into your torso muscles. And then for the lower body, we have lateral lunges back and forth. You can do this assisted on a set of rings or suspension straps like before for, but I recommend holding on to something in front of you like a kettlebell or even just a rock or something to give yourself that leverage so that way you can get really, really, really deep. Basically think of sitting on the back of your shoes as you do this and allow your hips to kind of bump to the outside just a little bit. Knee tracks inwards a little bit, hips go to the outside. That's going to build strength, stability, and mobility in your hips in a level that most of us don't even come close to when we're doing typical squatting and lunging techniques. The workout format of this is pretty simple. Six repetitions of each exercise for four rounds. And yes, it's only six. You wanna have a ton of resistance on this one. So you should be feeling like you're working extremely hard. Definitely no more than 10. We're trying to generate a lot of resistance and get a lot of depth and range of motion with each repetition. I left more details down below in the description, as well as if you have comments or questions, leave those down below in the comments section. Best of luck in today's workout. Be fit and live free.